Hi, hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll see there, the US 30 there came off quite staunchly there yesterday in the back of a multitude of different factors. Uh, I guess a major catalyst was the fact that there is uh, rumours of an early rate hike if the jobs data comes out particularly good. GDP obviously was particularly good, so it was a, it was a little bit of a sell-off on the um, new kind of short-term pain for long-term gain, good time to take profits. But then the Chicago uh, Business Sentiment Survey PMI data basically came out absolutely woefully bad and uh, that ended up being uh, kind of a big catalyst for another reason to sell basically most global markets came off Dow down about uh, 313 points or about 1.8 percent Germany 30 dropped about 2.4 percent uh, 212 points and mo like most global markets really got hit hard yesterday and uh, the dollar has been all over the shop as well dollar yen has been a, a, a big driver as ever a very bearish signal right here closing right down towards the bottom of this range we've tried to have, have a bounce back to uh, 16,598 um could be a dead cat bounce might just be, just be a retracement before we get the next move down obviously big questions remain around if non-farm payrolls come out being really good what's going to happen uh and non-farm payrolls come out really badly what, what what's going to happen so um i guess only time is really going to tell on that one to be fair um looking at the uk 100 it also came off quite staunchly uh 67 100 is the potential uh, support it's bounced off there successfully this morning but for how long? Uh, it's looking like most European markets are feeling the pressure. Be a small bounce, but then you know there there does look like a, a bit of selling interest there is still driving it down. Um, Japan two two five completely reversed course altogether. Back down to potential support fifteen four eighty eight. Technicals not yet overbought, um, but we have had a successful bounce. Dollar yen helping Japan two two five. We have a quick look at that. Um, we've been above. Uh, I think we've got to one one oh three fifteen. At one point um, in the last couple of days, we're having another retest that today as the dollar is, uh, is trying to wrestle control away from the other FX pairs. Dollar's obviously been going great guns. Uh, non pump payrolls comes out today and it's good. Obviously, that is definitely going to be a dollar positive. It's an easier one to try and uh, try and understand than how a positive non pump payrolls figure will impact equity markets. So, looking at uh, crude oil West Texas, again, got absolutely smashed there yesterday. Trading below $99, another retracement similar to what we saw uh, on uh, some other equity markets, incidentally. Next potential support is at 97 spot 64. Um, I guess um, there is concerns still about a slowing global demand in the future if they do raise rates sooner. It's obviously going to happen eventually. To some people, it's taking money off the table right now. Um, how much these, some of these markets will come off? It just remains to be seen when when uh, traders want to put their money back into the market when things have come off enough so that it's, it's time to get back involved and sure equities um if there is a retracement of a x number percent there will be a, a fair amount of people who are who are interested to see if they can uh, get in at another good good price but um there's a lot of positions to unwind so just be very careful out there expect further volatility um gold coming off again as um that dollar strength comes into into, into play um Normally, actually, I would have expected gold to benefit slightly from uh, inflation worries and also from uh, the fear in the market, but it seemed to be a sell-off across most markets, incidentally. So now, next potential support, 1267, uh, and that 1295 level will be, now be potential resistance. Looking at euro dollar, continue to move lower, uh, grudgingly each day, um, albeit um, the long leg candles here are indicating lower highs, uh, sorry, lower lows, uh, sorry, higher lows, my mistake. And uh, we're still probably looking at one spot 33 as the next potential support, followed by one spot uh, 31.93. Non-farm payrolls will be prevalent on euro dollar, uh, especially if there is some more eurozone data today, which I believe there is. Uh, if we actually just go on to um, the 1st of August right there, we do have German PMI and eurozone PMI and UK PMI before you've got non-farm payrolls at 130. Better make sure to set your alarms on there as well. We've only got five hours to go. And GBP USD, uh, probably a similar uh, story. Uh, lots of pressure on here. Quite a decent retracement we've actually seen from uh, 171.84 down to where we are now. We're in the middle of two ranges. Potential support, one spot 68.20. Potential resistance, one spot 69.23. And uh, it is all about non pump payrolls. And then not just that, but then you have to remember that you do have another ISM manufacturing PMI at 3 o'clock. And because the Chicago PMI was so terrible, 
Um, some people are thinking that figure could be quite bad as well. Uh, and that is at three o'clock today. So things don't finish up and non-farm payrolls come out. You've still got this ISM manufacturing number, which will be keenly looked after after the uh, Chicago PMI yesterday. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever. Uh, make insights part of your layer. Remember, guys, if you go to support and go to live trader events, you can sign up to our live webinar this morning. Uh, which will be uh, held at quarter past one UK time. But anybody globally can go ahead and join that. Uh, and uh, please join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.